Well, do you want to snub your nose in the face of winter? Then the American Cancer Society has an event for you. It's Burr for a Cure, a polar bear plunge at Craig Beach in Lake Milton State Park. For a $25 donation, you can take a dip in the frigid water on Saturday. Registration begins at 1230. The jump starts at 2. Anyone who raises at least $100 will get a free T-shirt. Would you ever do that? Take the plunge? I always thought I had enough <laughs> in me to do it, but I don't think I do. I, I think I would just be miserable <laughs> yeah. afterwards. So I don't know. How about and, you, Don? Would you do it? Um, no, I'll just go over <laughs> and give him the 25 bucks and go home. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know. uh, clouds clearing out nicely. That will allow us to drop down to about 30, maybe even the upper 20s by late tonight and early tomorrow morning. This is what it looks like from the satellite view right now. And off to the west, a few more clouds. That's part of another system that won't be here till tomorrow night. Maybe a little bit of snow, but it does not look like anything serious at this point in time. And as far as the leftover rain we had around, that's continuing to roll off to the northeast. Maybe a couple of leftover showers under what's left of the very few clouds. Extreme northeast uh, Ohio and uh, northwestern Pennsylvania. Have to jump all the way ahead to about 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Might be a little rain before it changes to some snow as temperatures continue to fall down through the 30s. But as we head through uh, tomorrow night and early Sunday morning, uh, some of those darker shades of blue indicating maybe some kind of an accumulation. Doesn't look like anything more than uh, an inch or less. And again, as I mentioned, Ryan Halicki will be here to guide you through that. By the time we get to Sunday morning, things kind of quieting down after that. And neighborhood temperatures uh, also falling, of course. 39 up at the airport in Vienna, 41 in Cortland, 42 in Warren. And uh, down here closer to Youngstown, 42, low 40s for almost all of Mahoning County. And the same applies down through Columbiana County as, as well. Uh, Calcutta just lost a degree, down to 40 there in Wellsville at 44 right now. 53 officially up at the airport, well outside my three degree guarantee, unfortunately. Uh, 47 was my guaranteed high for today. It was 35 for the early morning low and sunset tonight at 604. 39 at the airport at 6 with a dew point of 23. Sets the humidity at 52%. Wind's still a little blustery out there, uh, southwest at 15 with higher gusts. And uh, rainfall since midnight uh, on either side of two-tenths of an inch. The uh, .21 we had today uh, here at the station goes with the uh, .30 we had last night. So just a couple of drops over half an inch for the uh, storm totals. Mostly clear tonight. Winds stay on the gusty side, and we end up right around 30 by daybreak for tomorrow. Good looking day starts with some sun. The clouds gradually increase and 46 for a high by tomorrow afternoon. Snow showers tomorrow night, 23 by daybreak on Sunday. Accumulations look to be less than an inch. Some leftover snow showers in the morning. Otherwise, mostly cloudy on Sunday and about 10 degrees cooler. 34 for Sunday's high. Keep that word cooler in the back of your mind as you can plainly see. Monday looks dry, plenty of sunshine, but a chance of snow for Monday or for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Highs only in the 20s and highs in the teens by Thursday. Get a load of the early morning single digit low by Thursday morning. And we might even be in the negative numbers by daybreak next Friday.